All right, well, let's get back into this. I think we're in a bit of a mess before. Bismarck! Kind of held off a 1v4. Is that crazy? It's a bit of a problem. My army's kind of trapped in here, but... Um, when I declare, I can move out, and he will smash the city, then I can smash him, hopefully. Last nice thing is I can upgrade artillery without having trade routes. We could go all the way to infantry as well. Kind of far from that. But we will be trading with our buddies. We're going to get communism, which should help the economy. Our economy is actually pretty decent, to be honest. Yeah, uh, the beaker raid is a bit terrible. We're philosophical, actually. Wait a second. Wait a second. We're philosophical, guys. Let's do the philosophical thing. Hold on a second. That cannon can wait a bit. Let's do the philosophical thing. That is so many free beakers. Uh, I don't know why that didn't cross my mind. This is why you take breaks. We're philosophical. Get rid of rally points. Yeah, just get the universities everywhere. They're basically like a second library. Why not? Just everywhere, man. Like, they're probably worth it. Maybe. Yeah, maybe not everywhere, but in some spots anyway. Did we get out of police state? Yeah, no. Do we want to sit in police state? I'd like to do a big civic swap. At state property. And we're getting another Golden Age, potentially. Do I have any great people sitting around? Where do I check this? No. But we can probably generate one. We haven't really generated many people this game. Who else is sort of close? Ah. That's revolting. And maybe if I shove units in here. Where is it? This one. It's also getting a Forbidden Palace. Uh, if this rolls an engineer, it could be a bit sketch. This is also revolting, sadly. Um, just hold on a sec here. Yeah, I got this city off him at least. We, we came out on top. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Bismarck played well. He played that war like a human. That's how the AI should play. Well, that's how they don't usually play, but... Yeah. That was really freaking smart. He just hang, hung back until I got impatient and ran in, and then he smashed me. Well, no. He didn't smash me, but I had to smash him before he smashed me, basically. It was rough. The only reason that was possible is because he was upgrading. I should really change the civics though. I think we'll do cast state property later. I could go pacifism. Because I'd really like. Maybe, uh, yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. I'd really like to generate a golden age. Is anyone at communism? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. No, Justinian. Oh. Yeah, Justinian's at tanks at 1500 AD, it's kind of a concern. Uh, but you know, he's in the corner with 10 cities, it's not going to be too much of an issue. And he likes me, and he probably likes all my vassals too. Yeah, he likes everyone, so he won't be interfering, which is good. Well, we just got to punch through Bismarck, because Bismarck is the problem. Right? Bismarck can backstab you at least. I've, I've been afraid of that the whole game. So how do I do this? Freaking flipped my city. Did not build the national epic yet. I could pump it out in here. Yeah, it might not be a terrible idea. But I'd probably get it a lot faster in something like this. We need a line in here. 
either one of Joao's cities seem pretty good, it's just they're gonna constantly revolt unless I move units right now. What needs to be improved? That is still revolting, are you freaking serious? It went up. Oh, it's a, that's because I gave him his stupid city back, that's right. Is this revolting? Yes. Oh my god. Really? Um, I guess I need to decide now, do I want to just go smash him with artillery? Or I could just go all the way to tanks. It's probably easier if I just go to tanks. Oh no, he's really stupid panzers. <laughs> um, get panzered. But I can just put like anti-tanks on my stack with aggressive and probably be fine though, right? Surely. Uh, mum, 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 mum. How far am I from artillery? Quite a bit off, because I want communism and steam power to... Let's go into checking mode, we can swap back later. I don't think my capital's that good to be worth another turn of anarchy. Like, it's probably only doing a hundred beakers. Yeah, that's kind of crap. So we'll just go rep and leave it like that, I think. Pacifism... I don't think I need it. Let's try this. Try and hold on to these Jawal cities, they might actually generate me some great people. Open borders? Any chance? No. A bit cross. So, I think this has a pretty good chance to generate something. Let's see what we get in Karakorum, because if that one's a no-go, we can get something in Lisbon. If it's an engineer or a prophet, yeah, which is likely... I don't know, let's just see what we get. It's hard to really say. Cavalry can wait, get the universities up. Uh, we're gonna go Simeth first and trade that for Constitution with the Burger King. I think was the plan. He's getting Corporation. Maybe he can even get me to live. Ah, Lisbon. Damn it. So we suppress this. We can't make it to that one, unfortunately. hurts my income so much. These guys revolting. I can't really do anything about it. Okay, so we cut that one off. Wait.
I got an engineer. It's possible I can like not get an engineer here. Um What can I actually run right now? The problem is it doesn't have that much food. I can run a merchant, a spy, and an artist and get one in 16. Try for that to start. While we get the universities up. And whip away pretty crappy tiles. Don't want to whip that. It's working good stuff. Let that finish. Library. This can be whipped for sure. Maybe get an observatory up. Actually, that doesn't have much commerce. It's actually got a bit though. Yep, just whip this cheap crap. Very cheap to get this stuff. This one I don't want to whip. Um, let it grow a little bit more. I get, yeah, let it grow two more sizes then we can look into whipping it. We can actually take that you now. Since that one's being a bastard. University. Does this have the shrine? No, it just had a lot of good tiles. This one... No, Justinian has the shrine. Where does Oxford go? Yeah, I'm actually going to try hard this now. It's time to stop screwing around. 500 beakers. Where are my workers? What are these idiots doing? Nothing. Railroads. I did academy this thing. 67, I mean, it's not terrible. Like the other capitals are captured are pretty mid. Even this one's he's got no developed cottage. I'll probably just build Oxford in here, surely, right? Need two more universities. One two. Get the lighthouse up and then see how quick we can generate a guy in here too. We could consider building... Yeah, we might build the National Epic there. We might be able to pump the stuff out.
Just build it here. That's whatever. It's the only city that has, like, a decent amount of towns. I think, yeah, 67, I mean, it's the highest, right? It's 43. And I'd have to move the capital if I'm going to build it somewhere else, which takes even longer. It's just not worth it. Grab Scymeth and then we turn off the tech until that finishes, I would say. Might want to windmill that tile. Grab Scymeth and trade for that, yeah. Oh, good, yes. Oh, nice city, actually. Yeah, good job, Joel. Do something useful with yourself. Library. Oh, crap. How long would it take if I just went for one now? 16. We're getting one out here in the near-ish future. I drop the towns, I can sh yeah, maybe just go for it like that. Drop some towns, it kind of hurts. Dropping the towns like that. Or I could just have a lot more research and get it a little bit later in 12. But I think the earlier we're golden, yeah, no, we won, we won it earlier. <laughs> Like that. Ten. Just swap that next turn. And fix up my old capital a bit. None of that's really worth it, I think. to trade him steam power for some crap but I could go trade him communism for steam power we'll see if he picks up the research at all to believe that the same God who has endowed us with sense, reason, and intellect has intended Any us society to their that use. would give up a little liberty to gain a little security will deserve neither and lose both. Yeah, I think uh, maybe you get one of these for the unhappiness. Pump the cavalry out. Send them there because of the revolt. The grass. Oh, really? Go in space. Stop smashing my tiles.
don't think Bismarck will plot, but he might be crazy enough to do it. Who knows, man? National Epic. Yeah, right, let's get communism. I'll show you. Wait for that golden age. There we go. Up to nine hundred beakers now. GMP is picking up a bit now. That's more like it. It's far from good, but it's better. I think you can make a case to build this piece of crap in here. And grow it to a high size, work the water tiles. I don't think I have a really good other spot to build it. I mean, maybe here. Here, possibly. Yeah, okay, maybe it doesn't make sense here, because I'll just work like all windmills and stuff. I do think we should grow it one more size, though. So there. Really? Bump it out. Yeah, I think it would actually make this city a very nice city since it's got the food there already. Oh, it can actually tech like a bastard now. Keep the slider up for ages. Economy's doing fine. Just any faster. Maybe I should have staffed it down. It's a bit late now. I'll just wait, wait until we get communism now at this point. It's quite a nice city.
Governor's a bit drunk. When I give food to Please? the poor, they call me a saint. When I ask why the poor have no food, they call me a communist. No, we don't want to piss off Justin. We're staying, he loves that Civic, right? Yeah. Keep Justinian happy. Okay, super tiles. Yeah, holy economy, dude. Great recovery. I can build research. My economy's that friggin' good. I'd rather just one city revolt, not two, if possible. Okay, fresh water, farm, farm, irrigate, farm, farm, workshop. Hell yeah. Uh, no. Farm, farm, farm. Workshop. This guy is... not doing the right things. Three turning it. Just get biology and trade both of these for these two and steam power, right? That would be nice. Our research is insane. Communism, dude. It's how to save your game. Wouldn't mind putting that somewhere that needs it. Could put it in Jabal's cities. None of these idiots have biology or oh, computers. Bismarck's slowed it down a bit. Look at that spike. We're pumping now. Who cares? Okay, 84 hammers? I do kind of care about that though. Stop smashing my tiles. You angry idiots. This Marco's Apollo program. He's with Sam Infantry. He knows I want a flight Russian. Nice, Charlie. I don't think I can do that, right?
Now I can get stuff. If I get something off Joao. You would make a ship sail against no the wind. No free man shall be taken by lighting a bonfire on any of the way destroyed, except by the no lawful judgment of his peers. Ah, Levy. Yeah, it's actually a good capital. Considering I can also build a Levy in it. A very nice capital. Alright, I'm gonna make a monstrous stack that artillery that his bullcrap is not gonna be able to stop. I wanted to go. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll just take this. I don't really care about railroad that much. And I can start taking Tom artillery Tom and trade that for railroad. Six, seven. Oh, railroad's expense. The Justinian's missing some stuff. Lincoln, you poor little bastard. Get corporations off these idiots? Yes. I don't have the Great Lighthouse, right? No. Uh, Constantinople. Not ideal. Ah! 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 Great levy cities. Yeah, steam power's good. Just like almost doubles the production in some of your best cities if you get levies up. It's such a big deal. Even if it's only like three cities or four cities out of ten, right? All those cities just like 15 base hammers extra. Okay, maybe not double, but like 50% more. Kind of insane. Man, even more outside the golden edge. Grow this one more size and we'll pump the guys out. Empty the grass. Oh, oops. Might have plain no, he's the same infantry, not the main issue. Well, maybe one for scouting, but like Yeah. I do kind of want to get that levy up, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but the great person points. So good in the golden age.
this map's pretty cross, putting too many spy points on me. Good, this capital's doing stuff now. Device for obtaining individual profit without individual responsibility. We already got the banks up before, which is really nice. I was going to say we're going to really need banks right now because we're about to upgrade a bunch of crap. Banks would be really nice to have in a moment. Keep building them. Nice city! Yeah, check it out. It's kind of popping now. And this one's got nice with the levy too. Oh, I kind of want to get that levy up a bit faster, I think. Smash with artillery. Ouch. Artillery smash. Scouting airship. Not open borders yet? No. Okay, pump the artillery out here. Yeah, why not? Build that there. Artillery adds dignity to what would otherwise be a vulgar brawl. Now yeah, try and get railroad off this idiot that would actually be a really nice thing to get. Make reinforcing a lot easier actually. Make the bullshit cavalry. Just build wealth in here, it's probably gonna revolt. But oh, it's actually kinda not revolting now. Oh, okay, nice. Let's build wealth, but when I actually get railroad.
Need a bit of cash. Oh, that helps quite a bit actually. Thanks, Charlie. We can probably get a bit more now. Uh, okay, just chill with the bank for a turn. That's fine, bro. Come on, you little prick. Might be able to get railway roads. Railway roads next turn. Freaking tongue twister. More important than perfect yields building water mills is building railroads. That's gold. Did I just pop that or was that... No, I popped that last time, that's right. I can Bismarck you freaking bastards, time to die. Anti-tanks. What's he got? What's he got cooking? He's getting tanks. Getting the panzers. Machine guns. Artillery. Bank. Bank, bank. Levy. Any highly... Yeah, we need to bring some of these highly promoted bullshits back. I don't care if this one revolts. This city's, like, whatever. I just don't want Lisbon to revolt. And I'd rather have my highly promoted bullshits on the field. Maybe another golden age, who knows? Oh, maybe not. We set the rally point right there. Everyone go there. 
né? Ποιο είναι το σχέδιο, οι διαταγές σας. I want to take this Harley Promoter Cavalry out. But I wouldn't mind keeping the city away from revolting if possible, that way we can pump out more stuff. It's got a bunch of settled guys actually, can make some really good units in there, maybe anti-tanks. What are we, Buddhism? I think I've got Buddhism like everywhere, right? Yeah. Good job, Justinian. Yeah, like rifles are better against cavalry and anything below that, I guess, except grenadiers. But in late late game, when it comes to infantry and tanks and machine guns, cavalry are giga chad, and rifles are kind of whatever. They're pretty bad. All right, I want to upgrade all this. Power should be spiking hard now. Oh, that's Joao. Wow, Joao. Spiking really hard, apparently. For some reason. Did he get assembly line? No? I thought that was me, but that's Joao. What the hell? It's spiking like a beast. Where are these squeaky wheels going? Okay, that's good. Don't need factories for this era of units. Prague's being a bit stupid. Sent you up there. Where are you idiots going? Where the hell's going up there? Ah. 
Okay, so we let him take the city back, we regroup, and we smash him, pretty much. And then that's it. The old biz. He had a good run, but... I had to get serious. Production, yeah, look at look at this. See, do they have factories? It doesn't matter, dude. I've got like nearly double everyone in production. This, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Oh yeah, pumping. I cannot match this production. Please, I need the banana, you freaking idiots. Oh yeah. Πείτε μου τι να κάνω. that late yet. I still remember when I first started playing Immortal I wouldn't even have steam power at this time. What if I still got that map? Somewhere down here. <laughs> Look at me climbing the difficulties, it's so cute. Playing immortal here. Interesting. It was like a really hard immortal map where I ended up slamming cavalry and cannons into like Hammurabi uh, laser stuff, mobile artillery, mobile SAMs, and I managed to push through with a monster stack. It was comical. And I had to try the map like three times, and then it felt so freaking good when I finally beat it. It was a Surrey Immortal with kind of a crappy low commerce start. Ah, oh, good times. It's just loaded up a save and I see I'm at 1800 AD teching steam power like a freaking idiot. <laughs> Economy crashed after I rushed Isabella or something, I don't know. Kind of getting close to dangerous stuff, we should make a move. Okay, Bismarck! My friend, we don't have a railroad here. Suffer trying to take it back.
He probably gets this one too. Cavalry. Bullshit cavalry doing bullshit things. Shoot him. Yeah. Yeah, bullshit cavalry. <laughs> oh, he's really pummeling this stack. Wow. What's that artillery doing? Combat two machine combat three machine gun. This is why we have slow combat on so we can actually see what's going on. This is much more interesting. He's like hitting me everywhere, dude. He's angry. <laughs> yeah, the combat three machine guns are not a joke. In theory. Aggressive rifles. He's really going for it. <laughs> Bullshit cavalry, come on. Oh, he's kind of punishing my stack here. I don't like it. But the artillery can defend against a lot of crap at least. No, no, I'll lose that. What can you do? intact. Everything's fine. Watch! Joao! Get him! Yeah. It's time to punish him. He just put everyone in the city. Trebuchets, let's go. Yeah, the trebuchets. Oh, you're gonna get it, bro. Watch this. Oh. I think we just slam him with the bullshit cavalry. There's a medic. Here. Leonidas! Oh, really? How many machine guns did he put in there? Not much. I think I can get him pretty good. Oh, yeah, that got him good. That's a lot of green. Oh, I've got him good there. I've got him real good there. Yeah, that's right, you bastard. Eat that. Just regroup. Monster stack. 
Leave one guy, heal up, go again. Can he do it? I'm so paranoid at all the times I lose my medic at 99%. I think they'll beat him up over here. I hope. These guys will fix his stupid panzers. Really? Shit cavalry thing. <laughs> oh no. Here he comes. <laughs> Ninety nine. <laughs> One more turn healing. Oh, come on. Guided missiles. I want the guys to heal. Fully heal before we push further. His tanks can't do crap to me with this many anti-tanks combat 4 in my stack. I could just raise this piece of crap, then I don't have to defend it. Yeah, I might do that actually. Gets rid of his stupid culture as well. Ah, I see. We can get him with the bullshit, I think. That's why I love cavalry, they're freaking awesome, they do so much. Ah, Panzers and anti tanks, I see. Ah, oh, need a rail. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Empty in the grass. The grass. I still can't get there. Unless... Ah! 
this time I will take the trades off to the side because I have superior production. Oh dear. What? Oh, nice war weariness. Is this from before, is it? Dear guys, why do we have to be so? Oh, I'm in police state, halving the war weariness. Like, hello? What? What? Leonidas, we need to heal. I don't want him picking off my. Oh! Oh, what happened? You didn't do anything. Banned the stupid nicks. Unfun gameplay. And it spawns two rifles for free. It's quite nice, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's march to Berlin with the trebuchets. What's he got cooking? Not much! He's run out of steam! Oh no! Oh no! Try and protect that stack a little bit. Just a little bit. Look at us! Why is so angry? Like, minus five anger? Holy cow. Is that really what we're suffering? Do we got an Odeon here? We did. We got Odeon and freaking theater. They're being unreasonable. Does he have the Zeus? Yeah, he does. Oh, we're marching there right now, though. That's okay. We're going to fix that. So we're kind of dying. I think he's running out of crap to throw at me, but we shall see. Get him, guys. Oh, they didn't get him. No. I like that, guys. That's not how you do it. See if he comes in and panzers my workers. Yep. Well, you're a dumbass trading a tank for a worker? That is not a good trade, good sir. 95%! Yeah, aggressive anti-tanks. Get freaking missiled. Oh, he's gonna get a good Dagarasin, alright. Need to defend your capital, Bromo? We'll just heal railroad to that one and then we're gonna smash this since these idiots are kind of incompetent. Jail? Like, I don't know what they want from me. It'll be fine when the Zeus is gone. Getting Zeused. Zeus is getting us. Oh, 
παρόντες και έτοιμοι. Πείτε μου τι να κάνω. No. Ναι. Τι διατάζετε. No. Ποιο είναι το σχέδιο για δράση. Ποιο είναι το σχέδιο. Έτσι, ποιο είναι το δράση. Oh, Jamal! Jamal's cooking something up. You can't stop this punk, this pump, this mark. Bastard. How much did he shove it in? Not enough. A bunch of panzers. Come on, squeaky wheels. Panzer tanks in general might be strong, but they can't defend from City Raider 3 artillery. City Raider 3 artillery can't pump. They pump hard. Oh no. Now I've got a heroic epic super city pumping out freaking super artillery. That is a beautiful sound. How many? Can't tell. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Take this back though, bro. One of my workers will get artillery. And that beat him into shape. How about it then? Düsseldorf. <laughs> what? Okay. My power's just completely out of control. Let's have a look. Soldiers. Well, soldiers pretty close. I guess it's Justinian with his high tech, but I'm pretty freaking strong. No doubt about that. That takes care of that. Goodbye, anger. 
Go get Justinian now. Artillery smash! Really like aggressive though, I think it's quite underrated. It's been useful this entire game. Um, not many trades do that. Like, I had the better phalanx and the better spears against Kublai. I had... Uh, what did I have against Jamal? Uh, I didn't get much out of it against Charlie because I used Knights and Trebs. But it came back against Joao with the Super Grenadiers, that was cool. Um, you know, better bases are nice too, I suppose. Better muskets. And then we had Super Rifles for this war. And Super Anti-Tanks. And of course, cheaper barracks the whole game is quite nice too. Good value out of it. Alright, where are we going? I think we just attack him and then see what he does, or what. Yeah, I'll just hang out over here or something. Where's my airship? It's a scout. Let's put it here. It's a bit safer in Bismarck. I trust Bismarck more than Charlemagne defend himself. Let's set a rally point like over there, just slightly out of his reach. To domination. A little punk. Alright, what are we up against? I assume it's in Constantinople. Oh, here. Bombers and jet fire. Ah, gunships. Oh. Yeah. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Screw it. We go. We bowl. And only a couple gunships are going to move without the rest of the units. Oh, I could have actually done a golden age if I didn't settle that engineer. What's wrong with me? Uh, he's very close to super dangerous stuff, but it doesn't matter if I have the whole map behind me. Could just win Diplo, but let's fight it out for a bit. Should be fun. Did he do anything? Some of it out. Is he here in Charlie's land? Oh, I think he smashed that. Ah. It's not really that much, though. Really? Guided missiling me. I'd love to do that crap. Gunships stop tanks, but they don't stop artillery. Bro? Oh, Charlie. No railroads. That's a problem. Um, is that enough to get an artillery to the city? Yes, it is.
freaking like oh my god freaking lag Get him with the bullshits. Is that really hidden? Does have that still? He might throw it at us. I've got a monster stack though. Surprise, my power's not higher. 127 units, bro. <laughs> I don't care what tech you have, you're not stopping this. <laughs> you dodged it. A piece of the Panaman. Oh, Charlie! Oh, Charlie! Oh! Big Charlie strikes back with the drill full grenadiers and stuff. Oh, dear. Ah, the squeaky wheels. What the frick did I just click? Let's get some railroads up here. I'm kind of just letting him move his units out, fight it out for a little bit before I do anything. I mean, he really does not seem that strong. There's a bunch of gunships which are gonna hurt and tanks and crap, but realistically, I think we'll be alright. Oh, emancipation, you freaking idiot. Good. Something interesting. Are my workers going to get gunshipped if I do this? I can just pump him more in this city. Doesn't seem to really be doing anything, so... It's time. And combat four cavalry aren't terrible against gunships. I don't care if you got jets and bombers, you're not stopping that. Go on, bro. Hit me. Bring in the reserves. Get revolted. Hey, she got dominant culture here. No more revolts. Hey, hey, 52%. He cannot revolt me now. Ah. Oh. I just put them in there to suppress that instead. He's not even bombing me. He didn't even hit me with the bombers. He's like bombing the city or his improvements or something instead of hitting me. There's not a big, big stack in here. I mean, it's not that big. Caveman smash. Oh, even Bismarck. Oh, Bismarck is answering him. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think this Justinian falls. 
bit of a fraud this game anyway. It's a great AI, but this game, he's... He's kind of doing the Pical thing. Not gonna lie. He's doing the Pical thing. He has all the tech, but he doesn't have the army. He hasn't fought a single war. Well, Bismarck's been a respectable veteran and a rival in the past. You can get the blueberry juice all you want, dude. It's not going to help you. Go on, hit me. Oh. I'm going to tank my worker. Oh. I see. Ah, of course he built the castle. All right, boys. your economy and win the game from an already strong position. Watch this in slow motion if you actually want to see what's going on. Um, the only interesting thing I like to look for is if anyone loses a bar, a city to a barb. Doesn't really happen on DD that much. Lincoln declaring on Kublai, that was funny. Charlie went for Lincoln. Quite fortunate that we were able to get Lincoln there, that was... Well, that, that turned down and backfired on me, technically, because then Charlie came after me and attacked me when I wasn't ready. Um, so capping Lincoln kind of backfired a bit. Charlie flooded like two turns after. It was crazy. I think we smashed him and... Grinding down Charlie was a bit of a pain. That was Justinian's power at the end. He had like nothing, though. It's a bit of a lie, isn't it? Bismarck was way stronger than Justinian. Okay, here, when he kind of kicked my ass. Yeah. He was way... He was quite much... Very much stronger than Justinian. But, man, he had, like, nothing... I guess all the power was coming from the battleships, the missile cruisers and crap, and the jet fighters and all this stuff, but not a... Not really an actual army on land. He had a few gunships. He still had tanks. He didn't have mechs. He's still defending with infantry, marines, and tanks against artillery, which after City Grade 3 artillery are just going to shred through. Especially with the numbers I was pumping out. Um, you really think my power would be like triple him, but I think buildings, technology, and population count towards power as well. And he has a huge edge on me there, because I didn't build every single stupid building. I only built banks and universities. I didn't touch markets and grocers. Like, sometimes it's really just not necessary to go to infantry. Uh, the cavalry can just do the job just fine. And, like, factories are good. They give you 100% um, production 
No, they give you 75%. You get 25 from the factory and 50 from the coal plant. But you have to build the factories, you have to build the coal plants, you have to build grocers, you have to build aqueducts. It's very, very expensive. And if you can just win with artillery because you have 20 cities, I mean, yeah, I don't even think I had 20. I think I had like 15, 16 real cities. Um, but I had great land and great cities, great production, great quality units. I'm very highly promoted and a huge army already. And you can just win from there. You don't always have to go to factories, tanks, and crap if there's no 20 city monster. These guys are only 10 cities each, which really isn't too bad. Um, if there were 15 cities and had vassals, then yes, that's where you go tanks and factories and crap, or jet fighters, whatever you feel like. But yeah, we fixed our economy really quick, as you saw. We were going on strike when we were um, teching to Grenadiers, I think. And then after Bismarck, we were able to pull it together really quickly with a simple state property beeline, bit of tech trading to speed it up a little bit, and the banks. The banks were very key in this game. Both of the other Civ 4 YouTubers, in my opinion, underrate banks. Banks are a awesome, awesome building. I built 12 of them. I built more banks than universities. I built almost as many as libraries. They are 50% gold, which is like an academy if you're 50% in science or less. It is so much money, it's going to really help your economy. And even if you're taking high, when you go to upgrade your units, that's where the banks also come in. You drop the slider to generate gold, and then the banks will give you 50% more. Really, really strong buildings. Uh, very underrated. Great way to save an economy that's crashed anywhere from the medieval onwards. So if you can just get to banking, you should never have long-term economic problems if you have lots of land. Like, lots of land plus banking. Get banks and courthouses if you have a lot of cities. Courthouses are good if you have a lot of cities and you get them up early-ish. If you're not close to state property. Those two will pay off big time and get you to the stuff. And the thing is, even if you go state property, courthouses aren't completely useless. You still pay this number of cities maintenance as well. Which I'll show you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We will make electricity so cheap that only the there is a number of cities maintenance here being reduced by 50%. So even though you're paying zero distance maintenance from state property, the courthouse still saves you four gold per turn. So if you're able to get a lot of value out of it before state property, and then you go state property, it's still going to keep giving you value. Like it pays off 30 after 30 turns with state property, which isn't even that bad. So yeah, worth building. Courthouses are really good if you get more than 10 cities. They're really, really good for 10 cities plus. That's generally my rule. And sometimes if my economy is struggling, I'll get them at eight cities. But if you only have five or six cities, then I agree courthouses are kind of useless. All right, well, I hope that was um, somewhat educational. We saw a lot of great play and a lot of really bad play that game. Um, definitely an interesting one all the way till the end, I think. Bismarck fought pretty well. That was quite interesting. Um, there was another DT win with one cheeky reload, but... To be honest, if I had taken a reasonable break, I'm sure I would have remembered to beg. I kind of just played a bit sloppy. It's just a simple beg, man, can totally change the outcome of your game. Don't forget to beg. Don't forget to take breaks. Will help. A lot. Where's my arm? I want to actually see how many we managed to stack up in the end, because this is a monster freaking stack. I'd like to do this. Empty, not like a loss. Ah. Caveman smash. Yeah. Fun stuff. Alright, well, I'm thinking of doing Mongolia on a model and having some fun with the Keshiks. I've been doing it a lot offline and 
having a lot of fun with horse archers and Keshik nonsense. We'll see though. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.